This one's called Dear Girl Two Years From Now. It's a wedding poem. <laughs> Dear girl, two years from now, you will wake up and the shine will be gone. You will look upon his body and his nakedness will no longer be a mystery but a bad habit as he wanders into your kitchen buck-ass looking for ice cream. <laughs> Yes, his hairy belly will no longer be the slice of manly virility you dream of today. Instead, it will be the farm where crops of black, wiry hairs are harvested and left to clog the shower drain. His two-day scruff will not remind you so much of a young Marlon Brando, but instead will conjure the sensation of razor blades tickling your tongue. The vows you took in white will be shades of gray within the twilight of loneliness, spent pathetically watching the twilight movies again. <laughs> you will then be silent because it seems inappropriate to laugh. You will laugh because it seems silly to yell. And you will yell because it's so much easier than crying, but you will cry because it's too, too, too soon to give up. Girl, in your desolation you will not be alone. You will join the army of women already manning their stations in their lonely relationships, still clinging to the iron rails of a sunk ship, digging perfectly planted nails into the rust, convinced they can peel it from the ocean floor before they run out of breath. Dear girl, two years from now, I am writing to you then when your ears have popped finally in the elevation of experience. Today you are blinding and blind and white, deaf amongst the church bells and well wishes. Welcome to the world. I pray you beat the odds. And congratulations, it was a lovely service. <laughs>